Hey there, fifth graders. Hope you guys are having a good week. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, so welcome to this video lesson. Uh, this is group one. This is for group one. All right. So guys, we're going to start today with our warm up. All right. Starting with baritone today. All right. Let's play our concert B flat scale with whole notes, please. Concert B flat scale all the way up and down. One, two, ready. And B flat scale with four quarter notes for each note of the scale only going up. Here we go. Making sure we're doing really, really clean tonguing. One, two, ready, and slide fall out. <laughs> All right, let's do it one more time. Sorry if that messed you up. Um, we're going to go even faster because I think you guys are ready to do it even faster. From the beginning, nice clean tonguing. And one, two, ready, and... to open up our book. All right, guys, I've got my clarinet. Um, open your book to page 15. Page 15, please. Uh, so last week we finished page 14. So over on page 15, um, the first majority of the page, it says so it's opus two encore. So look where it says, there's a part that says composer's corner. If you want to, you can take a pencil and you can like finish that song. There's a couple blanks in it. And so you can like write your own song. All right. And that's pretty cool. I want you to try that. Also underneath that, it says pencil power. If you haven't done it yet, there's this neat little story about Beethoven and well, I guess, okay. The first one's about Beethoven. I don't think the rest of them are. Um, but anyway, or maybe it is, I'm not sure. I need to do it, I guess, and find out what it's about. Okay, so pencil power, go ahead and figure that out because <clears throat> it, it's using the notes in the staff, in your staff, um, and it, you have to just put what the name of the note is and it spells out this, this story, all right? And so that you can read the sentences for each, all four of those examples, okay? So it's, it's cool and it's a way for you guys to just, you know, keep working on seeing the note and knowing what the note name is. All right. And it's, that's really, really good practice. So if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and do that pencil power. All right. And then, uh, I don't know, you probably even could play those songs if you wanted to just for fun. All right, cool guys. So let's look at number 2.22. All right. Under curtain up 2.22. Let's try this song. All right. So it has two notes before the first full measure. All right, two notes before them. And those are called, what kind of notes? Pickup notes, All right? So we have two pickup notes before the first full measure. Also, let's look at what our dynamics are in this song. We've got changing dynamics throughout. So how about as we're playing, let's try to make sure we put the dynamics into the music, right? Because that's a really important part of the music. So it starts out with MP. What is MP? Mezzo, piano, and then in English, that means medium, soft. And then we go to P means piano or soft. Then we go to MF meaning mezzo forte or loud. And then at the end it's F or forte or loud. Okay. Guys, let's air band just the beginning and then we'll play it. All right, so air band it with me. Here we go. Um, I'm just gonna count 
because I can't actually say the notes because we have all different instruments watching. Here we go. Air Bandit with me. Ready? And one, two, three, four, 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 one, two. Good. Stop right there. All right. If you want to pause the video and finish air banding it, awesome. Go for it. All right. <clears throat> cool. Let's give this a try. We're going to try sight reading it. So sight reading it means playing a song for the very first time, right? We've never played the song before. Though some of you have definitely played this song before in their lessons. All right, but definitely some of you have not. So let's give it a try from the beginning with our pickup notes. Here we go, all together. Percussion if you're playing on mallets, awesome. Here we go, beginning. If you're playing on snare drum too, that's, that's great too. <laughs> Here we go, beginning, ready? One, two. <laughs> the ending of that nice and strong forte like I was trying to. All right, guys, I want to show you really quick a reminder of the best way to practice, okay? Um, so when we're practicing a song, and it's a new song that we haven't really worked on too much, and we're still trying to learn it, um, there's oftentimes spots that you're going to slow down, or you're going to hesitate on, um, or you're going to be playing along with somebody else, like if you're just playing it with me, and then you're like, and it's get to a measure and you're gonna kind of panic and you'll be like, I don't know what that note is. I forget it. I forget what my fingers have to do. Uh, it's like too much, too soon, too quick. Ah, all right. So sometimes that happens, right? And it happens to all of us when we're playing a new piece of music, especially. So that's just your brain telling you, this is a difficult part of the music. This is the part you need to focus on, all right? And so anytime that happens, to you during a piece of music. Anytime you feel like you need to hesitate or you're like, eh, I don't know what that is. That's just meaning that's where you're going to focus on. All right. Because there's a, in any song, there's going to be some parts that are a little easier, right? You don't need to spend a lot of time on that part because that's the part you already know. You need to spend time on those parts that you're like, eh, um, all right. So for this song, I want you to look at the second line and count with me from the beginning of the second line. One, two, the second measure of the second line. Actually, how about this? To make it easier, we're gonna start right at the beginning of the second line of the music. All right, beginning of the second line. Okay, so first we're gonna air band it. And we're gonna just go those two measures, the first and the second measure of the second line of this song, of number 2.22. All right, so we're gonna start, clarinets are starting on an E. All right, that means Trumpets are also starting on an E, but everybody else is starting on a different note, all right? <clears throat> a lot of you are gonna be starting on a D. If you play flute, trombone, baritone, tuba, you guys all have a D that you're gonna start with. Okay, here we go. Starting on whatever that note is for you, air band it. Air band it with me, ready? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That low note in there, that's when you gotta be ready for. Do it one more time, air bandit. Ready, and one, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. Good, play it with me. These are the first two measures of the second line. Two, ready, and. All right, play it one more time. Ready, and. Good. Guys, anytime there's a piece of music that there's a spot in there that's a little more difficult, that's what you need to do. Air band at first, a couple times even, then play it. I had a teacher, a trombone teacher, that taught me that if there was a spot that I was struggling with, like one or two measures, that I had to play it three times in a row perfectly, and then I could go on. And if I couldn't play it perfectly three times in a row, like if I played it two times and at the end of this, the second time I messed it up, then you had to start all over again and play it again. Or maybe you even have to go back to air banding it. All right. But if you can play it three times in a row perfectly, then that means you know that those two measures or those, that one measure. And then you can go back and you can play that whole song back together, putting it back in. Right. But if you only play it one time and you're like, all right, I got it right that time. I can play it now. What if you just accidentally played it right? Right? That definitely could happen. You accidentally played it right, and then next time you play it, it's gonna be wrong again because you don't really know it. So, three times in a row, play it three times in a row perfectly, and then you can go on. All right? I, uh, my trombone teacher that taught me that was when I was in college. All right? And so, it works no matter if you're in fourth grade or if you're in college playing or if you're a professional musician. So, I still will do that when I'm practicing, if there's a hard part in the song. All right, awesome guys. So we are gonna now turn the page to page 16. Page 16. Okay, so this one, this page is like, and actually the next page too. It's actually kind of cool because these are like songs that are really good, like full band songs. Um, and you guys, a lot of you will have different parts from other uh, instruments for some of these songs. Anytime that says full band, so like on page 17, all those songs say full band. Um, so that means like the clarinet part will be different from the trombone part. Um, it'll be different from the flute part, you know? So um, those are songs that if we were all together, we could definitely play. Those are fun ones. Um, you know, eventually, hopefully you'll get to all play them together in band. Um, but for right now, let's look at 16, page 16. It's 2.23 concert warm up number one. So these are actually really, really good warm-ups that I'm actually going to start next week adding in as part of our warm-up. Um, and so we can change it up a little bit and it's not always the same thing. All right. And these are great, great warm-ups. So hopefully, you know, next time we're all together in full band, we'll get to use these together. So page 16, number 2.23, concert warm-up number one. This is like, all these are notes you know. All right. So it's, and it's just, look at it. It's like going up and down scales. All right, so it's just this pattern, all right? But they're really good warm up. So we're gonna try them and learn them right now. And it's gonna be part of your practice um, for next week, because next week we're gonna start putting them into our warm up. So here we go, 2.23. Uh, let's give it a try from the beginning. You can pause and airband it if you'd like to, otherwise we're just gonna play right through. One, two, beginning, and. <laughs> Fermata note, make sure you hold it out longer than two beats, right? Akuna Fermata. Just remember that. All right, guys, let's look at the next one down. 2.24, concert warm up number two. This is the last song that we're going to play. This is the last song we're going to play out of our book today. And then we're going to do one other song. All right, here we go. Concert warm up number two. Let's give it a try. I love this one, and it is not easy, especially if you try to do it faster. So that's a good goal. Eventually try to do this faster. Here we go. Number two. 2.24. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> Ah, 
awesome. Especially at the beginning of that, like, try doing that faster after you've practiced it. Let's try it right now. Ready? Play the beginning with me. Faster. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> practice that so I can do it without squeaking. All right, cool guys. We are going to now take out power rock and I'm going to switch instruments. All right, guys, I've got power rock up and I got my saxophone. Saxophonist, make sure we are adjusting our neck strap. That mouthpiece needs to go right to your bottom lip. Make sure that nobody is hunched over while they're playing. Everybody, no matter what your instrument is, make sure you always bring the instrument to your mouth and you're sitting up nice and tall. You don't bring your mouth down to your instrument because you're going to hurt your neck. All right, here we go. Power rock from the beginning. Ready? And uh, one, two, ready, and. Measure five. Seven, forty-eight. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Awesome. I did mess up back at thirty-five. I played that how it was written and not how you're supposed to play it. Sorry about that. All right, awesome guys. Man, that's a fun song. I miss playing it with you guys. I miss playing all this stuff with you guys and seeing you guys. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good week. Um, uh, happy practicing. Hopefully you guys saw, uh, I, we posted it this past week, but um, from now on at the bottom underneath your videos, there's going to be underneath the title of the video, there's a YouTube, or sorry, not YouTube. There's a Google Forms link that I want you to click every week we want you to fill it out um, at some point that week. You only have to fill it out once, but just fill it out. It's just helping us, Miss Haynes and I, to know um, what you're practicing and who's practicing. Um, you know, just so that, because we know that you're at home working hard and practicing and playing this stuff and playing, you know, all different kinds of things. And we just want to know, you know, what you're doing. Um, and we miss you. All right. So fill that out once a week. It's going to be available from now on. All right. Um, and just let us know what kinds of things you've been working on. All right. We miss you. We'll see you next time. Bye.